It has been a tough year for our businesses. Gyms among really the hardest hit here. At one point during the pandemic, they had to shut down. Now some are hoping to bounce back as people make their New Year's resolutions. But how safe is it really? Here's our David Caltabiano. It's it has been a challenge, um, you know, and it's uh, been a challenge for the entire industry. Ryan Babcock, the owner of Maximum Fitness, says he's grateful they are still open after the worst year this gym has ever seen in its 25 year history. Give a lot of thanks to God and to my, my staff also for hanging in there with us. Now the local gym owner is eyeing 2021 to bounce back with people making their New Year's resolution to get in shape. He's confident people will show despite the rising number of COVID cases. We feel especially right now with, uh, with the, the coronavirus and everything, is the importance of being healthy and exercising is uh, more important now than ever. He says people should feel comfortable here with the CDC and state guidelines in place. We require everyone to wear masks at all times, six feet uh, social distancing. We have sanitation wipes and hand sanitizer stations throughout the gym. But is it enough to safely work out? I'm pro exercise. I think it's a great idea, but you know, try to be safe. Dr. Frank Lavecchio says you should consider your age and comorbidities. He also says you should stay away from crowded gyms and be more than six feet from people if you can. If you do go work out, try to the least amount of people, the better. Okay, the further apart, the better. The more ventilation, the better. We're confident this is the safe, safe and clean place to work out. In Scottsdale, David Coltabiano for Arizona's Family.